I'm James Swanick. Welcome to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn to live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. If you're an entrepreneur or a top professional and you are drinking, it really is a waste because you're operating at about a five or a six out of 10 when you could be operating at about an eight or a nine out of 10. And the difference could be hundreds of thousands of dollars, not to mention transformative health, repaired relationships, overall well-being. I am James Swanick. This is the Alcohol-Free Lifestyle Podcast. Great to have you with us. I am an entrepreneur. I own two businesses and I have two other little side businesses, which I call research and development, I guess. And one of them is my alcohol-free lifestyle business and the other is my Swanee's Blue Light Blocking Glasses business. Had both of them since 2015. And I can tell you that if I was drinking alcohol, I wouldn't, I would either not have those businesses at all or they would be far less successful than they are. Alcohol, if you are a business owner or a professional, wanting peak performance is like kryptonite to Superman. You know, that's what was that scene? Was it Superman 2 where Gene Hackman was playing Lex Luthor and Christopher Reeve was, was playing Superman and Lex Luthor got his hands on some kryptonite from the planet Krypton and he put it around Superman's uh, neck and that rendered Superman powerless? Well, that's kind of what alcohol is doing to you if you are a real estate investor, an attorney, a CPA, a uh, business owner, work in pharmaceutical sales, whatever. You know, I'm just rolling off some businesses and some uh, top professions here. There's a cost to that drinking. And I get it. You're stressed. You're anxious. There's stuff going on. But there are consequences to the drinking. And the consequences add up to hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars. It really does. So let me show you, let me show you how, first of all. Okay. So I want to ask the question, you know, what is your drinking really costing you? Okay. Well, what's it really costing? Well, well, look, there's this website called alcohol.org. It's an alcohol use disorder resource and it's used for life expectancy data. And they looked at the cost of drinks in different cities to calculate how much people spend on alcohol over the course of a year and a lifetime. Those living in New York, Minneapolis, and Miami all averaged close to $2,000 a year on drinks and $116,000 throughout their lifetime. Over a year, the cost of drinking adds up, and over a lifetime, it definitely does. Now, truth be told, those numbers are largely inconsequential when compared to the revenue or income that you are likely living on the table because you are not operating at your best. Now, according to this study, if you live in New York, Minneapolis, and Miami, you may be spending $2,000 a year on alcohol. And by the way, some of you are listening now going, That's, I spend more than that. I spend closer to ten grand a year on alcohol. But even if you did spend conservatively $2,000 a year on purchasing alcohol, you're most likely missing out on generating tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars because of the time and energy that you are devoting to your drinking habit and the, fo- the lost focus and the lost clarity from drinking, which means you're not making a new deal, which means you're not creating a different product line, which means you're not getting a raise, which means you're not doing your job or you're running your business as effectively as you could because Alcohol has been proven to sap your energy and slow down your brain's ability to process information. It's the phone call that you don't make at work because you're tired. It's operating at 60% instead of 90%. It's the irritable boss who doesn't inspire his team. Is that you? It's the project that you keep putting on the back burner because you don't have the energy to tackle it. Tackle it. And let me remind you, it's not just the day after drinking that affects your business performance. Most toxins remain in your system for seven days, some as long as 90 days, if you can believe it. So if optimal performance professionally is your goal, then rationalizing your nightly drinks and believing you're going to be 100% the next day isn't going to cut it. Studies and countless anecdotal evidence demonstrates that drinking affects you for a week and beyond. So let's take a cold hard look at the facts. What are your drinking habits really costing you? 
let's do this little um, calculator, if you if you will. So it, it allows entrepreneurs, business owners, executives, professionals to calculate just how much the drinking is actually costing them in revenue. And if you're anywhere near a pen and a piece of paper right now, I invite you to grab it and let's do this exercise together. It's very simple. And if you're driving, don't grab a pen and paper, obviously, but see if you can just figure it out in your head. You should be able to. So let's let's forget for a second the amount of money that you actually spend on alcohol and alcohol-related activities, okay? Let's forget that. Instead, we're just going to focus on the amount of money that you're not generating because of your drinking, okay? We're, we're just going to focus on the amount of money that you are not generating because of your drinking. Okay, here we go. Three steps. First step. With your drinking habits the way they are and the way they, they have been, how much revenue did you generate in your business last year? And if you're an employee, by the way, and you got a job, what was your salary? You know, how much money did you make? Okay, that's the first step. So how much, how much revenue did you generate in your business or how much income did you generate as an employee in the last 12 months, assuming that you've been drinking the last 12 months? Okay, got that figure? Okay, next step. If you were alcohol-free consistently and you enjoyed a clearer mind, more energy, less stress, extra motivation, and laser focus, and therefore you increased your productivity, your performance, and impact, and therefore you generated more business success, for example, landing more sales or clients, if you're in a job, getting a raise or a promotion, maybe securing a better job at another company, better higher paying job at a company. If you were consistently alcohol free over the course of the next 12 months, how much revenue would you generate in your business and how much income could you generate in your job? Okay, if you were alcohol free for 12 months, how much revenue would you generate likely? How much income might you make in your job? Okay, got those two numbers there. Now, all you really got to do is a very simple equation. You just subtract number one from number two, which means you start with you start with what you could make being alcohol free, and then you subtract what you did make drinking alcohol. What's the difference? The difference between those two numbers is what your drinking is costing you every year in lost revenue or lost income. That is what we call your ALRC, alcohol, less re- alcohol Lost Revenue Calculation. Okay, so let me just do it again just in case you didn't get it or I didn't explain it as well as I could have. Let's just say someone makes 100 grand a year in their business and they're drinking, which means they're operating at a 5 or a 6 out of 10. Let's just say that they somehow quit drinking. Maybe they joined Project 90. Maybe they get my free guide, the alcohol freedom formula. Maybe they listen to a bunch of episodes on this podcast. Maybe they do cold turkey. Maybe they just figure it out themselves, whatever. You go alcohol free. Now, because you're alcohol free, you're operating at an eight or a nine out of 10. You make 150 grand in the coming year. Well, that means your choice to drink alcohol is costing you $50,000 a year. Because you make a hundred grand when you're at a five or a six out of ten, you make a hundred and fifty when you're at an eight or a nine out of ten. Your drinking habits are costing you fifty grand in lost income, not even including how much you spend on alcohol. Which, according to that study, if you're in New York, is only two thousand dollars a year. But that's on average. I mean, most people, if you're listening to this podcast now, you're, you're spending more than two grand a year on alcohol. Now the numbers get kind of wacky when you have a business. A seven-figure business like I do, or, or I've got a couple of those, like when you start to deal with seven-figure businesses, then it starts to get a little insane. Because let's just say, for example, you're not your best because you're drinking. You're foggy, you're distracted, can't focus, you're kind of all over the shop. Or maybe you do really well, but you know you're leaving lots on the table. And let's just say you generate $1 million in revenue in your business this year. Well done, seven figures. Not many businesses get to, very few businesses get to seven figures. But if you're listening to this podcast, this is all about high performance. Maybe that's chump change to you, a million bucks a year in revenue. But you make a million dollars a year in revenue. Well done. But you're operating at a five or six out of 10. Now, 
you get around a community of other high performers or other people who other high performers who are quitting alcohol and now you perform at an eight or a nine out of ten you make an extra deal you sleep better you lose some weight you got more energy you got more focus you're happier you got more time with your kids hanging out with the wife or the husband a lot more you make better choices better strategic decisions in your business wow now you've got some vision now you're not just putting out fires you've got a team that are humming the team likes to work with you. You're the boss. Or maybe you're in a job and now all of a sudden the boss likes to work with you. And so you get a promotion or a raise. Get where I'm going with this? Being consistently alcohol-free in that scenario, if you're a business owner, let's just say you go from a 6 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10, and a 6 out of 10 generates you $1 million revenue. Well, guess what? If you get to an 8 out of 10, then your business stands to generate $1.2 million in revenue. What's the difference? $200,000 in business revenue increase because of your very simple choice to finally get long-term power over your drinking habits. If you're in a job, let's say you make 100 grand a year, 100 grand a year, you got benefits, you you get, get good medical, you get a couple of weeks vacation if you're in America. It seems insane to me. Growing up in Australia, two weeks is not enough. We do at least four. As I was used to be a journalist back in the day, a newspaper reporter. We used to get six. But anyway, that's another story. Um, you know, maybe you, you make a hundred your package is a hundred grand. You got some you got some good medical and vacation time. You like your company. They kind of like you. But you know, you're just a you're a foot soldier. You do all right. You're safe. You're, you're, you're dependable. You go out for a few drinks with your colleagues. You're carrying about 20 extra pounds. Life's not terrible. Life's actually all right. It's pretty good. But you're just floating along. You know that you are so much more capable than this. Now, all of a sudden, you go alcohol-free, and now you speak up a little bit more in the, be- in the meeting. You suggest something which your boss likes you get a raise you get asked to head up a new department with that heading up the new department you get a promotion now you're on 140 grand a year well done you've just made forty thousand dollars additional uh income for your family before the tax man takes his little slice of it of course um but that's another (laughs) that's another episode so now you're feeling a lot more confident now your husband or your wife's happy your kids are happy you're happy now you're doing more creative work. You've got more responsibility. You're growing. Tony Robbins always says progress equals happiness. You're progressing. You're happy. But you, if you stay drinking, maybe you didn't get that promotion or maybe you would get the promotion, but it would take two or three years as opposed to you just got it in two or three months. Is this starting to resonate with you? So what was your number? What was the number? What's the difference between how much you make drinking and how much you could make not drinking? Take it in and think about that number. And every time you drink, that's what you're potentially losing in annual revenue or income. And those losses can add up to big numbers over time. Big, big, big numbers. I mean, I squandered money for years when I drank, only to generate millions when I quit. I've created two seven-figure businesses. Entrepreneur Magazine actually featured me in an article about how I generated a million dollars in 12 months. Um, and I credit being alcohol free with giving me the clarity, focus, and confidence to achieve that level of success with my business. Because when you're clear in mind, you make better decisions. You make an extra cold call, you try an additional marketing effort, you put in the little bit of extra that changes the outcome. These things all help you succeed in business and generate wealth. And it's often the intangibles that lead to the biggest payoff over time. I'll give you an example. One of my Project 90 clients. Tim Steele is his name, and he's okay for me to share it because he's been on the podcast. But Tim's a commercial real estate lender who quit drinking with my help and with the Project 90 um, process. By the way, just on that, if you want to apply to be part of Project 90, which is a group of entrepreneurs and top professionals quitting alcohol for at least 90 days uh, and leveling up in all area of their lives, you can go to alcoholfreelifestyle.com slash schedule where you can schedule a... uh, no obligation free coaching call with one of my coaches. Um, we'll have a conversation. We'll figure out whether you can figure out whether you know it makes sense for you to join us and for and to get our support. We'll 
feel you out as well and just see whether we like each other and whether we decide to link arms and do Project 90 together. So if you want to do that, alcoholfreelifestyle.com forward slash schedule is where you can book that schedule. And if you want some further details of it before you book the call, maybe you're not sure, you're a bit tentative, you're on the fence, you can always go to alcoholfreelifestyle.com slash project 90 uh, where there's some more details there about uh, the program. And you can also, by the way, just email me directly at james at alcoholfreelifestyle.com and just shoot me a message and just, you know, just put Project 90 in the subject line and then say, hey, I'm interested or ask your question or whatever and I'll send you back details. Anyway, one of my clients, Tim Steele, he was a, a, he's a commercial real estate lender who quit drinking with Project 90. Tim says he was leaving a quarter of a million dollars on the table each year because of his drinking. A quarter of a million dollars. Now, Tim, he specializes in helping commercial real estate investors with loans, and with that comes a lot of cocktail hours. And he said that it was getting a little bit too much for him. He was irritable most days. He missed opportunities to turn prospects into clients. Hangovers didn't leave much time to think, and without the clarity, he missed out on a good chunk of revenue. But when he stopped drinking inside of Project 90, and he's still alcohol-free to this day, I think it's probably 18 months, almost two years later, um, he developed clarity and focus. He phoned more prospects. He was more intentional, clear in his communication. He got to know his prospects better. He took the time to connect with them more deeply. And suddenly, he was signing more six-figure deals. His sales exploded. I have another client, Amy McFadden. Again, she's okay for me to mention her name publicly because uh, I've interviewed her on the podcast. Uh, and Amy, she has an interior design company in Boston. And Amy says that she tripled her business inside of Project 90, just within 90 days of quitting drinking. And Amy was saying that there, there's always these evening events in her industry, in the interior design industry, and she was drinking two or three glasses of wine a night. She said that she was foggy at meetings the next morning. She was operating at what she described as a four out of 10. And then you can go back and listen to this episode, actually. It's one of the earlier episodes on this podcast. Just look for Amy McFadden. But what she shared was that as soon as she was alcohol-free, she was up earlier, more focused, became really clear and sharp, didn't shove things away and post them and postpone them until the next day. She had better strategy, which, of course, resulted in bringing in higher-level clients and that brought in a surge of revenue really quickly. Amy said that she brought her A game every day and that she even had to hire someone to help her keep up with the demand. Her words, not mine, she went from operating at a 4 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10 within three short months. Another Project 90 client, Jessica Gaines Jarbo. Again, she's given me the okay to mention her name. There's, a, there's, a, there's actually two interviews with her on this podcast, I think. There was one where I interviewed her when she completed 90 days and then another one when she got to one year alcohol-free. I said that we'd do a two-year alcohol-free reunion podcast, so that'll be coming up early next year. But anyway, Jessica uh, Gaines Jarba, she's a realtor from Louisville, Kentucky, and she said that the quality of her clients improved dramatically when she went alcohol-free. Uh, so for her, it wasn't about the quantity of clients. It was the quality of her clients. She didn't want more clients. She just wanted the caliber of the clients to improve. She wanted to do bigger and better deals, not necessarily more deals. Susie Vaughan is another uh, former member. Again, she's given me the okay to use her name. She's a realtor as well. She said that she doubled her prospects and increased her close rate by 20% within 100 days of quitting alcohol inside of Project 90. Now, if you're in the real estate game, that's a huge amount of revenue. Doubling your prospects and increasing your close rate by 20% within 100 days of quitting alcohol, that's insane. Uh, if you're a salaried employee, quitting drinking can lead to meaningful relationships with colleagues and clients and ultimately to, pr to promotions with increased salaries. One of my clients, Joe Worley, given me permission to use his name, he was a plant manager at a company for four years. He was working 12-hour days, six days a week. He said that he was drinking wine at the end of the day to cope, which resulted in high blood pressure and poor sleep. Uh, he was actually fired in November 2019. He got fired. 
And it could have been a disaster for him, but instead, Joe took a look at himself in the mirror and he chose to make a change. And that change meant getting alcohol out of his life. He called me up. He booked a call on um, that link that I gave you before. This was uh, late 2019. He literally went to the website, alcoholfreelifestyle.com. He booked a, uh, the free call, the exploratory call, with one of our coaches, and he enrolled. And he focused on getting alcohol out of his life for those 90 days. And he said that he, he set up a huge war room in his basement. He described it as a, as a war room. And he started calling all of these contacts in his phone from former business associates, old friends, former clients. Um, business associates, and he said that the response was overwhelming. Former colleagues and supervisors that he hadn't spoken to in 15 years plus were willing to help him. And he had this clarity and this focus because he was alcohol-free. And before long, he had more job leads and networking meetings than he could handle. And it all led to his dream job. This is what he just he said. He described it as his dream job. He became a a program manager with a family-owned custom wood office furniture company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He he was already an avid woodworker. You know, he had a a very small little side business out of his garage. And so, all of a sudden, there was this incredible job opportunity that came up, being a program manager with a family-owned custom wood office furniture company. And he loved it. He said that he he found where he was supposed to be, and it all started with going alcohol-free. Again, you can listen to that that episode. If you go back, scroll back to one of the earlier episodes from maybe maybe a year ago now, you can listen to Joe tell that story. He helped the the company improve how they launched new products, and ultimately he transitioned um, to drive uh, innovation in that company. And then he was later promoted to a director role. So. Uh, food for thought, there is a direct and an indirect cost of drinking. Go alcohol-free. You can improve your business, generate more revenue by embracing this alcohol-free lifestyle. And over the years, I've worked with uh, multi-millionaire hedge fund owners, hedge fund owners, six-figure entrepreneurs, salespeople, business leaders, uh, pharmaceutical salespeople, attorneys, CPAs, wealth managers, who credit quitting drinking with a massive up-leveling of their success in business. Now, I know it's not all about the money. Maybe it sounds like this is too money-oriented and too money-focused. Maybe it's not about the money for you. Maybe it's about other things. Maybe it's about your health. Maybe it's about your relationships to your kids or with your kids, to your wife or your husband or your mum. One of our clients who just graduated from 90 days uh, yesterday, actually, her name is Anna. She is 55 years old. And she has an 80-something-year-old mother who is Polish and stubborn by all accounts, according to Anna. Uh, Anna shared with me and with our Project 90 community that her mother told her that she was incredibly proud of her the other day, which is the first time that she's apparently given Anna any kind of positive nurturing like that. And uh, Anna said she was gobsmacked by it. Anna had just shared that with her mother that she'd gone 90 days alcohol-free and talking about the changes that she'd made in her life and her mother, 80-something-year-old mother who's, you know, usually doesn't open up, on this occasion opened up. Beautiful. So, again, it's not all about the money, but if you're an entrepreneur, you're in sales, you're a top professional, you've got a job, you lead a team, you're an attorney, you're a CPA, you're managing other people's money, you've got any kind of responsibility or you want responsibility. There is a cost to your drinking, and I would love to help you to overcome your cravings, your need for alcohol. It's very simple. It doesn't have to be really, really hard. It doesn't have to be like a struggle. I'm supremely confident I've created the best process on planet Earth that I'm aware of. There might be a better process. I'm just not aware of it. I've been in this game since 2015 and researched lots and lots and lots of different modalities my way, which is very simple. It's coaching, community, accountability, fun, and having skin in the game. Coaching, community, accountability, fun, and having skin in the game. You got those five pillars, man, your, your chances of success go through the roof. 
And I don't mean accountability from your wife or your husband. That's cute. That's nice. I don't mean posting on your Facebook page or telling your friend that you're going to do it together. I mean appropriate accountability, which means if you are an entrepreneur, business owner, or top professional, consider yourself a peak performer and you're not operating at your peak, then get around other entrepreneurs, top professionals, peak performers who are not currently operating at their peak but are striving to. That's what Project 90 is, appropriate accountability, like-minded people going through the same thing together and then appropriate coaching, of course. I haven't drunk since 2010. So I invite you to explore an alcohol-free life. Just a reminder, if you haven't got my alcohol freedom formula, it's free. It's a guide. You can go to alcoholfreelifestyle.com forward slash guide. And just a reminder, if you want to have a chat, you want to talk about Project 90, you want to see if it's a fit for you. And at the very least, you'll walk away with a game plan, which you can go and execute on your own. And maybe we'll link arms and we'll help you together. Then you can go to alcoholfreelifestyle.com forward slash schedule to schedule that call. All right, that is it for me. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for listening. Lots of plenty of other, uh, sorry, let's try that again. Plenty of other episodes here to listen to. Just scroll through, look at the, the headlines or the title, the show titles. Pick one that you like, which you think speaks to you. And let's uh, help you get power over your drinking habits. All right, catch you on the next one. See you.